The story begins with a lone queen. She is alone. She has a mission. She must start a new ant colony. The queen is driven by instinct. She must lay her eggs. But first she needs to find a suitable place. She searches for days. Time is against her. Rival colonies are a constant threat. She must establish her own colony within 1,000 days. Finally, she finds a small cavity. It is hidden under the roots of a large tree. The soil is moist. It is perfect. She begins to dig. She uses her powerful mandibles. She excavates a small chamber. It is her first nest. With the nest ready, she lays her first batch of eggs. These are precious. They represent the future of her colony. She tends to them constantly. She keeps them warm. She protects them from predators. The queen is patient. She waits for her children to hatch. The days turn into weeks. Finally, the eggs begin to hatch. Tiny grub-like larvae emerge. The queen feeds them with her own saliva. This is a special saliva. It is rich in nutrients. The larvae need it to grow. The queen works tirelessly. She knows that the survival of her colony depends on it. The queen's initial days are fraught with danger. She is vulnerable. Predators are everywhere. Birds, spiders and even other ants pose a threat. But she is determined. She will protect her brood at all costs. She is the queen. And this is her gambit for survival. The larvae grow quickly. They molt their skin several times. The queen continues to care for them. Finally, they pupate. They spin tiny silk cocoons around themselves. Inside these cocoons, they undergo a metamorphosis. They will emerge as adult ants. The first ants to emerge are the workers. They are small and weak, but they are ready to work. They immediately begin to tend to the queen and the brood. They clean the nest. They forage for food. The colony is starting to take shape. The first task of the worker ants is to find food. The queen has exhausted her reserves. The colony needs a fresh supply of nutrients. The workers fan out from the nest. They search for anything edible. They find dead insects. They collect sweet nectar from flowers. They bring it back to the nest. The colony begins to grow stronger. With each passing day, the colony gains in strength. More workers are born. The nest expands. The queen's gamble is paying off. Her colony is thriving. The first hurdle has been overcome. But many more challenges lie ahead. The colony is still in its infancy. It is a long way from becoming a powerful force in the ant world. The colony continues to grow. It is no longer a small group of ants. It is now a force to be reckoned with. The workers are bolder. They venture further from the nest. They encounter other ant colonies. Competition for resources is fierce. One day, the workers encounter a scouting party from another colony. These ants are from a rival species. They are larger and more aggressive. The workers rush back to the nest. They raise the alarm. The colony prepares for war. The queen releases pheromones. These pheromones stir the workers into a frenzy. They are ready to defend their colony to the death. The rival ants attack the nest. The defenders fight back with all their might. They bite. They sting. They spray formic acid. The battle rages for hours. Finally, the defenders prevail. They drive back the invaders. The ground is littered with the bodies of dead ants. The colony has won its first major victory, but it has come at a cost. Many workers are dead. The colony is weakened, but they have shown their strength. They have defended their territory, and they have secured their access to valuable resources. After the battle, the colony enters a period of recovery and growth. The queen lays more eggs. The workers work tirelessly to care for the brood and expand the nest. They dig new chambers. They create tunnels and passageways. The colony is becoming a complex and well-organized society. The workers develop a system of division of labor. Some workers specialize in foraging for food. Others focus on caring for the brood. Still others work on maintaining the nest. This specialization allows the colony to function more efficiently. The colony prospers. They find a rich source of food near a human settlement. They collect scraps of food and sugary substances. They store the surplus in special chambers within the nest. They are preparing for the future. The colony is thriving. They are well fed. Their numbers are growing and their defenses are strong. They have weathered the initial storms, but new challenges are on the horizon. The ant world is full of dangers. 
and this colony will face many more tests of its resilience and adaptability. Their journey is far from over. Section 5. Fortifying the Fortress As the colony expands, so do the threats against it. Predators are always on the lookout for an easy meal. Rival colonies eye their territory with envy. The colony must fortify its defenses. The workers begin to construct elaborate defenses around the nest entrances. They use twigs, pebbles, and even the bodies of dead insects. They create walls and barriers to deter invaders. They dig trenches to trap enemies. The nest is becoming a fortress. Inside the nest, the workers are also busy. They create special chambers for defense. These chambers are filled with soldier ants. Soldier ants are larger and stronger than worker ants. They have powerful mandibles for crushing enemies. They are the colony's first line of defense. The colony is not content with simply defending its own territory. They begin to launch raids on neighboring colonies. They steal food and resources. They kill rival ants and even capture their brood. These raids are risky, but they are also very profitable. The colony is becoming a dominant force in the area. Section 6. The Great Famine The colony experiences a period of unprecedented prosperity, but their good fortune is not to last. A severe drought hits the land. The rains fail. The plants wither and die. Food becomes scarce. The colony is on the brink of starvation. The workers scoured the land for any scraps of food. They travel further and further from the nest. But their efforts are in vain. The drought has taken its toll. The colony's stores of food dwindle. The queen stops laying eggs. The colony's growth comes to a standstill. The colony is facing its greatest challenge yet. They must adapt or die. The queen makes a difficult decision. She orders the colony to abandon their nest. They must find a new home, a place where food is more plentiful. The workers gather the brood and the colony's remaining food stores. They prepare for a perilous journey. They must cross open ground. They are exposed to predators. The survival of the colony is at stake. The Great Famine has tested their limits, but it has also revealed their strength and determination. Section 7. The Rise of New Threats The colony survives the journey to their new home. They find a suitable location. It is near a stream. The land is fertile. The colony begins to rebuild. But their new home is not without its own dangers. New predators lurk in the shadows. Giant spiders with venomous fangs. Beetles with powerful jaws. The colony must learn to adapt to these new threats. The colony develops new strategies for defense. They learn to avoid the spider's webs. They use their stingers to paralyze the beetles. They work together to overwhelm their enemies. The colony is becoming more resilient. They face each new challenge with courage and ingenuity. The colony is not just surviving, they are thriving. They are adapting to their environment. They are learning from their experiences. They are becoming a force to be reckoned with. Section 8. A Desperate Gamble 500 days have passed since the Queen first began her colony. The colony is now a formidable force. They have thousands of ants. Their nest is a complex network of tunnels and chambers. They have weathered many storms, but their greatest challenge is yet to come. A massive army of army ants is approaching. Army ants are nomadic predators. They travel in vast swarms. They devour everything in their path. They are a nightmare for any ant colony. The scout ants report the army ants approach. The colony is in a panic. They have never faced a threat like this before. The queen must make a decision. They can stay and fight, but they are outnumbered. They will be wiped out, or they can flee, but they will have to abandon their nest. They will have to start again. The queen makes a desperate gamble. She orders the colony to gather their brood and their most valuable resources. They will flee into the unknown. They will seek refuge in a distant land. They will start anew. Section 9. Legacy of the Thousand Days. The colony flees from the army ants. They travel for days. They face many dangers, but they survive. Finally, they find a new home. It is a place of peace and plenty. The colony begins to rebuild. The queen reflects on their journey. They have faced countless challenges. They have known both victory and defeat. They have lost many along the way, but they have also grown stronger. 
The thousand days have been a time of great change. The colony has evolved. They are no longer the same ants that first emerged from the queen's eggs. They are survivors. They are pioneers. They are the legacy of the thousand days. They are a testament to the resilience and adaptability of ants. And their story is far from over.